with you forever. If you, you love me, keep your commandments. As we ask ourselves the question, should Ten Commandments be in public schools? Should we impose God on all and expect the unbelievers abide by the rules? If we sit back and see how Christ dealt with church and state in his day, we would be informed to see that this was never his method, no way. Are the Ten Commandments important? One may think or ask. We can definitely see the blessings when individually we see God at last and apply these commandments in our hearts and homes to not follow Christian nationalism nor follow the Pope and Rome. For our permanent dwelling is not on this sinful earth, an earth ready to perish, for our King Jesus will bring this planet a rebirth, a new heaven and earth where there will be no more crime, theft, debt, sickness or pain, no more disappointments nor convicts doing crime. It is time to repent and see God for ourselves seriously, to feel the personal need of change, for God doesn't force us individually. Do we desire to discover the Prince of Peace? Do we desire to love Him and keep His commandments at least? We are not saved by works, but faith in the One who can. Do good works in us, that is part of His redemptive plan. Let us make Christianity great again through Christ and in Him alone to hide His commandments in our hearts who wrote them on tables of stone. <laughs>